Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. And today I have a review of something that you are definitely gonna want to know about. Um, hi, my name's Kim, if you're new here. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies. I find in my travels in the crafting world. Hello. <laughs> so I had previously reviewed this book, the Crochet Activity Book, 100 plus crochet themed puzzles in large print. I will link my review of this down below. Um, spoiler, alert, spoiler alert. I liked it a lot. Highly suggest there also is one a knitting version of this. I will also link both down below, as you can see here also, knitting. I will link down below where you can get this on Amazon. <clears throat> so then of course, you know, Amazon tells you things you, sh you should like. And this came up and I was like, well, I like this one so much. Why don't we check this one out? And that's how you, I need to do a review on this. <laughs> um, so just to do a little bit of a comparison, the first one I reviewed was uno momento, 84 pages of activities. And this one is Is that correct? Only 57 pages? Oh. That's a big difference. That's a lot less. Okay. So this one has all different varieties of puzzles. <clears throat> My favorite being the uh, word searches. I went and did those first. <laughs> right? So they have different sections in this one I had reviewed previously. They have word puzzles, picture puzzles, and bonus number puzzles. And then they tell you the answers. This one, if I open it up, now the cover on this is weird. It's like, it's not smooth. It's kind of odd. I, I don't love it. I don't know, at least to my issues, let me tell you. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Cute, except there's a big problem in this page. It's a crochet activity book. What is that? That looks like one knitting needle. What is that? You could have at least put a crochet hook there. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this one has a crochet hook in it. <laughs> so it says table of contents, word search, Sudoku, mages, mages, <laughs> mazes, coloring pages, sketch pages, and solutions. All right, so this is the word search part this one looks like it's about threading and tatting this one looks like it's about sewing then we have one about it's like random words that don't really mix together like uh hold on Aris, camel, curtain, requisite, silver. Like, these don't even go together. Beret. Newsboy? What is going on? Arabesque. So there are some, there's 10 word puzzles, word searches that have some very few crochet words. Then there's Sudoku, which has nothing to do with crochet because it's all numbers. And there is 40 grids of that. Then there's mazes. Oh Lord. They're just plain mazes with nothing to do with crochet. And there are, yep, all of them are not themed. There are 10 of those. Then there's some coloring. Oh, come on. These are the coloring pages. You see anything involving crochet with that? 
How about this one? How about this one? These aren't even good coloring pages. Like, more random stuff. Random. 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 More random. These aren't even very good. Okay. And then you get some sketch pages. You know what sketch pages are? They're blank pages. What the deuce, Batman? And then you get solutions. Solutions on the mazes. Oh, look at that. Um, hi. Crochet activity book. The end. That pretty much sums up this whole book. Look, those are knitting needles, folks. Come on, get it together. So this one I reviewed first. Everything in here is crochet themed. Even these, I mean, you can go back and look at my whole review, but I even like these, uh, hold on a second. The drawing things. Like, which, I mean, there's idioms, there's crochet trivia, there's stitching logic puzzles. Yeah, I just, amazing. Then we have this that can't even figure out the difference between knitting and crochet. Sorry, I'm talking faster because I'm getting irritated. It gives you a bunch of blank pages to sketch in. <clears throat> That's not why I'm buying this. None of the pictures are crochet themed. None of the coloring pages are crochet themed. None of the, a ton of Sudoku and mazes that are not, they're like regular Blando stuff. And the word searches aren't even crochet themed. They don't have as many different varieties of stuff as this one does. Yeah. This is horrible. Uh, even like, yeah, this totally lying on the front. It's not a crochet activity book. It's a random activity book where you can't tell the difference between knitting needles and crochet. Look at what she's doing on the front. She's freaking knitting. Come on. This is horrible. No, do not buy that. I will link it down below so you know not to buy that. Zero out of ten. Zero out of a hundred. Awful. Amazing. This is a great gift. Totally suggest it. Not all crochet activity books are equal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rant over. Whew. I gotta take a breath now. Sorry, I got all worked up about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So that's me. Check out this awesome thing. Don't buy that awful thing. <sighs> okay. Have a creative day, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.